Hello and welcome to Algebra 1 release question number 41. It says wit, 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 does it say wit? No, it says what is the solution to this system of equations? It says we've got two equations, y equals negative 3x minus 2 and 6x plus 2y equals negative 4. We could do this graphically. We could draw these lines on a graph, see where they intersect, if in fact they do, and find the solution from there. If they intersected, it looks like it should be one of these two points. Uh, if they didn't intersect, it would be no solution. If they were the same line, it would be infinitely many solutions. And so uh, that's one way to do this, but I'm going to show you using substitution, the other, I think, easier way to do this. So y equals negative 3x minus 2. In this case, if y equals this, we can replace y with that value. So I can put in negative 3x minus 2 right in here for y. I'm going to replace y with that. And so I've got 6x plus 2 times y becomes 2 times negative 3x minus 2. That should equal negative 4. So I'm going to take this, no, this positive 2, distribute that through. I've got 6x minus 6x minus 4 equals negative 4. And so what happens here well, the 6x and negative 6x will cancel. I'll get negative 4 equals negative 4. So you might say to yourself, hmm, what does that mean? If I have something equals itself, is there ever a time when this isn't true, this equation? Is there ever a time when negative 4 does not equal itself, negative 4? I would say no, this is always true. So if something is always true, you are going to have this as your answer infinitely many solutions so if you have something that ends up being always true infinitely many solutions you may have a question like this where you end up with this is does not apply to this particular problem but you might end up with you work out your problem and you get something you get this equals you get like say negative three equals two this would be never true and so you would say no solutions if you were to draw this graphically, or if we were to take 6x, just to describe this problem a little more in depth, if we were to take this and change it into slope-intercept form, let's see what would actually happen. So if we subtract 6x from both sides, this would go away. You'd have negative 6x minus 4. Divide both sides, everything, by 2. You'd get y equals negative 3x minus 2. That's interesting. That's looking very familiar, is it not? y equals negative 3x minus 2. There it is again. I changed, I took this equation, made it in slope intercept form, and it was exactly the same equation. These two are exactly the same. So if you have things that end up being exactly the same equation, it's going to be one line on top of another line. You'll have infinitely many solutions. Every solution will be the same. And so any way you think of it, graphically, putting both of them into slope-intercept form or using substitution to see that something always equals itself. Any one of those three ways will give you choice D as your final answer for 41.